Hi, in this video I'm going to show you some uses for the floor and ceiling functions. Now the floor and the ceiling functions are basically rounding functions. What the floor function does is it rounds a number down to based on a multiple and the ceiling function rounds a number up based on a multiple. So if it, for example we have multiples of 10 and we have numbers that are from 1 to 9 depending on the number, depending on your multiple, if your multiple if your multiple is in 10, if it's using the floor function, it's going to round it out to the bottom 10. If it's using the ceiling function, it's going to round it up to the nearest 10. Let's go and show an example here. Let's say I have these randomly ger generated numbers, and we're going to use the floor function first. And a real life example, when you really think about it, is the Canadian phase out of the penny. So uh, in the coming year, or actually I think it's already passed, they are phasing out the Canadian penny, or they phased out the Canadian penny so you have to round it up to the nearest nickel. So if we rounded it down to the floor, to the nearest nickel, if we're using the floor function, what we can do is type equal floor. I'm going to go ahead and tab that to just complete it. I'm going to select cell A2 as the number, and the significance is every nickel, so it's 0.05. Close parentheses, press control enter to stay in that cell. So if we rounded it down to the nearest nickel, it would be from 157 to 155. Let me double click the fill handle to bring it down. You can't really see here that it's rounded down to the nearest nickel, so we're going to have to increase the decimal places. And now you can see that it's done that. So 251 goes to 250, 844 goes to 840. Now let's go to the ceiling function and see how that works. The ceiling function works in a similar way, but instead of rounding down, of course it rounds up. So I'm going to type ceiling and tab to complete that cell. And then there's two arguments here, like the floor function. I'll select the number and then the significance is 0.05. Press Control Enter to stay within that cell. Double click the fill handle to bring it down to copy it. And you've noticed that the ceiling now is, in this instance, 6.9. Let me go ahead and increase the decimal places so we can see it a little bit better. So 686, if we rounded it up to the nearest nickel, it'd be 690. So let's take this a little bit further. Um, even though we have our floor and ceiling functions that have rounded down. If we took this into a real world situation, such as with Canada, now what happens with Canada's situation if the last digit, if our penny is either one cent to two cents or six cents and seven cents, it's going to be rounded down. If it's any of the other digits, if it's three or four or eight or nine, it's going to round up. So how can we do this? What we can do is we can add a helper column and based on the helper column, have a choice to select between the floor or the ceiling. So what we really need is we need that last digit, this last digit here, that penny. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a helper column here and type equal and use the right function. So I'm going to just take the right digit here. So based on this cell, I just want one character and it's going to bring back six in this case. Actually a one since this is a random functions. It's randomizing numbers here. So it brings back one in this case. It'll probably bring back something else later on. But let me go ahead and double click it to fill it down here. So this is six right now. So now it's bringing back this digit. What I want to do right now is I want to write an if statement. And I'm going to go if. And if any of these numbers are either a one, two, six, or seven, I'm going to use the floor value. If it's not, then I'm going to use a ceiling value. So basically, I'm going to put the if statement and and in that I'm going to enclose an OR statement. So if this value here equals either a 1 or or if D2 equals a 2 or if D2 equals a 6 comma or if D2 equals a 7. So if any of those cases happen then comma the value I'm going to select is the floor. Otherwise if it's false, then I'm going to select the ceiling. So let me go ahead and close the parentheses off here. Press Control Enter to stay in that cell. And it, so it shows 805. Let me go ahead and double click it to bring it down. Now let's just call this the Canadian, the Canadian round. All right, we'll call that the Canadian round. And let me go ahead and increase the decimal here. So let's see how that worked. We have 237. It should actually choose 235, but it didn't. Why didn't it do that? Well, what basically happened was, if you've noticed, this is not a number. So 
this formula is looking at that and it's bringing back false. Well, we have to turn that into a number. And the reason why that is not a number is look at the alignment of this number. It's aligned to the left. Most of the time, text is aligned to the left and numbers are aligned to the right. So what we need to do is turn this into a value. So it's, what it's doing, it's, it's taking, it's doing performing a calculation, but that number is seeing as, it's seeing it as text. So we have to turn it into a value. And that, we can use the value statement, the value function. So we're going to turn that number text into a value. So I just need to enclose that formula within the value function, pressed enter. Let me go ahead and click here and double click to bring the formula down. And now you'll notice that if I look at this value, 494, so it's not it's not a 1, 2, 6, or 7, it should get the ceiling, and it does. This value is a 3, and it's a 3 here, so this should also get the ceiling. Now let's look at this value. This is a 6, and brings back a 6. It should get the floor, and it does that. So this is the correct calculation to round up or down based on our floor or our ceiling. So that was a little bit of a longer way to explain the floor and ceiling functions, but we kind of brought this into a real-world situation. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.